struggles with her mere knowledge in the spa and wellness industry. She's been heading this body for more than 30 years now and today she is here to make us understand how important is spa and wellness when it comes to your hospitality industry. Ladies and gentlemen, Zorda Tanya Hujai, as I call on stage, Miss Kiran Bawa. Very good evening. What a lovely crowd. I'm so glad to be here. Very good evening to the gorgeous girls around and all the handsome boys. How's the evening? Boring? Interesting? I, I hope I don't bore you further. I'm not going to take much of your time. Well, before coming here, my team has uh, made a AV for me and you. This is a surprise for me as well. They told me that, ma'am, I hope you were impressed with our work and I hope the students here get inspired seeing the AV. Please go ahead. by far the best spa um, and relaxation place I've been to. As a girl, as a woman, it's a place, the to-go place when you're stressed and tired. Fabulous service and great bosses like Kiran and Shilpa. Spa is the major stress uh, buster I can think of because when you're tired, your skin is tired, your body is tired. I think a massage, facial and uh, uh, maybe head massage, it works best for me. I love the way the spa is done. In fact, uh, it makes me want all of you to rush out of here so I can lock the door and tell Kirano, okay, it's time for me now. I, um, what can I say about ISUs? I've been uh, going to them for years. Um, my first uh, trip was actually very accidental because I was talking to Kiran and she said you must go and try out the services and I was like because women don't have much patience but I remember the first time when I spent some 4-5 hours there and I highly recommend it uh, not only because of uh, the service one gets there but also basically for the cleanliness I'm a hygiene freak so all the services there are excellent and um, I wish you all the best and hopefully uh, I'll be part of IOC's shortly. All the best. I came here like this is the second time I've been here IOC's and I really loved it. The services are very good. I came here for foot massage and I'm very happy with the services. People are very nice. Ambience is great, soothing, calming and very quiet place, peaceful. 
and the colors are very nice here. Uh, people are always smiling. Services are, are the best. So please do come here. Have experience here. Come here, relax here and enjoy the services. part of the wellness industry thank you I hope you like the the AV and you're inspired so I can go back and tell my team that you love the AV thank you well let me start with my thank you let me start with my experience my journey which I'm told to share here luckily the AV is taken five minutes so I have exactly seven to eight minutes to talk to you I started IOSIS in 2008. I come from the Bawa Hospitality Group. As you, as you know, we have hotels in Mumbai. But I planned to take my own journey, my own route, my own pathway. As Sanjeev sir said, I wanted to do something different, something of my own, which, was, which should be special to my heart. And I wanted to passionately wake up every morning and go to work. There are many friends who came down and told me, are you serious, you want to do this business? Massage, eyebrows, threading, bleaching, waxing. Are you serious about it? And today you well know, after the industry, after the IT industry, it's the wellness industry which is the booming business, which is the in business. And I'm sure you all would want to be a part of it because who doesn't want to look beautiful? Am I right? Well, 2008, I started my first outlet in Andheri where I backed two awards from the Asia Spa, as you've seen in the AV. We, of course, we've taken a lot of awards by God's grace after that. 2009, Shilpa Shetty, the epitome of beauty and wellness, joined IOSIS. Well, after that, this brand had no looking back. I dreamt of making this a brand the day I started IOSIS, but I never knew the journey would speed up the moment Shilpa joined in as a partner with me. She's been a great inspiration. She's always been there, thick and thin. Which business doesn't go through its ups and downs? But Shilpa has always been my support. Well, her faith and her belief in IOSIS makes me work harder, run every morning, leave a lot of social parties, friends, family. A lot of my family members hate me for not coming for their parties, but trust me, I have a responsibility of waking up every morning, looking after my team, who's my family now, inspiring each and every member who's working for me, my clients smiling and looking beautiful near them. That's a task. I do that every morning. Well, my true inspiration, where the fire comes from, is my daughter, my 20-year-old daughter. I really wanted to have this brand and do something for myself because I wanted to mentor her as a single parent. It was a challenge. Someone back there asked me, being a single mom, how did you manage? I managed because of a very good family who's been my support. That's the reason I'm here talking to all of you, handling her, handling a lot in my life, going through ups and downs, but standing strong. I'm bringing this point about my being a single, me being a single parent. Because in life, you are going to face a lot of defeat, failures, up and down. 
Please don't get boggled. Don't look back. Just move ahead. Move ahead with a lot of confidence. There is sunshine. Failures will come your life. Any, any enterprise, any new company has to go through its ups and downs. So be strong and keep moving ahead. Always listen to your punching bag, your parents. They are your best friends. They will guide you, thick and thin. They will be there. They are your mentors. To my daughter at times, she tells me, what the hell, mom? In fact, before coming here, she told me, don't you talk too much and bore all the kids over there, please, mom. So I said, I promise you, I will rush out. And I'm going to do that, of course. But listen to your parents and respect them. Cherish them. Enjoy every moment with them. Listen to them. Please listen to them. They will always guide you right. They are your best friends. I know at this age, we give a lot of importance to our friends. We make them a priority at times. But do not prioritize your friends at this age. Your priority should be your work. Your priority should be towards what's your goal. Move ahead towards your goal with a lot of clarity. Fix your goals. Set yourself a goal. Where do you want to move? What do you want to do from here? You are going to move out from here dreaming of a lot of things. Pen them down. Write it down for yourself. What, what do I want to do next? How do I get my finances in place? How do I get a team in place? How do I get my HR and human resources in place? Pen down your goals. See your dream, your vision, your mission. Everything should be penned down. And move forward from there with a lot of passion and love for your work. Because unless and until there is no passion and love for your work, you will head nowhere. You have to love your work. That's your first romance. It will be there. Day in, day out, it will be there making you stronger and stronger in life. You will learn every day. I am still learning. I'm sure you all are learning. This is a journey. And it's a beautiful journey. So all the best to all of you. God bless you. Be motivated. Don't let anybody take away your sparkle, especially the girls. Never let that happen. You are the youth. You are India. Have the courage and move forward. God bless you. Thank you so much, ma'am, for being here. Uh, quickly, I'm going to pull out two winners for the selfie contest. Is that the only party you guys are sitting here? I hope not. All right, so ma'am, uh, I have these names. So you have to pick up. No, as in just, just tell the name out. Yes. Ayush? Yeah, Ayush Multan. Multan, yeah. Can I have Mr. Ayush Multani? Where is he? Which college does he belong to? Come on, cheer! The winner of the selfie contest, congratulations! Mustafa Kanchwala. Which college? Huge round of applause for him, ladies and gentlemen, our winners of the selfie contest. All right, so she's going to take a selfie and she's going to show it to her. Oh. <laughs> And uh, for her great daughter, ma'am, can I know your name? I mean, your daughter's name? Rishim. Rishim. Okay, so. Oh, of course. All right. Hospitality Convention 2016. Woo! <laughs> Super. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, we would like to thank you. Uh, I would like to call on uh, Miss Anahita to do the honors for the felicitation. Ma'am? Anahita, ma'am? Thank you so much, ma'am, for your presence here. Oh my god. Where are they? Ladies and gentlemen, my backend team is still selecting the winners to keep posting. Hi, ma'am. <laughs> we would like you to first say Kiran Bawa. Can I have
have you both on center stage. Those are Thalia Hojai for Miss Kiran Bawa. Thank you so much, pretty ladies.